We have seen him play yesterday. And on the right, we see Soma with a Ranguru, the resource management of Ranguru. And on the bottom left uh, part of the prizes, we actually got to see Lily's Pokedol. So this is going to be a control stall deck out of out of Soma. This is not going to be the traditional Macargo GX that we saw uh, in an earlier round. This is actually going to be a slower pace strategy. It wants to use Lily's Pokedol to stop its opponent from taking any prizes, while at the same time using Belelba and Bryson Man to, st to run its opponent out of cards and options as fast as possible. It does this with a Ranguru for, uh, for resource management, and of course, it also has uh, the Lily's Pokedol in order to uh, stop its opponent from taking prizes. However, I know that Clifton plays Fione. That's going to be a crucial card in this matchup. Soma gets to go first, by the way, and that's a tag call on uh, on the first turn of the game here with a Zacian start. You see two red Pokeballs on Soma's side. That actually implies that there was a two-prize penalty issued against Clifton Go, which means Soma only needs four prizes to actually win this uh, this game. Guess but what, by the way? <laughs> That doesn't actually matter. Yeah, I'm not so <laughs> sure that's the, the win condition that uh, Soma might be looking for. Uh, sort of, you know, it's just another aspect of the game is there are multiple different win conditions. Uh, one being to knock out all your opponent's Pokemon, one being to take six prize cards, and the other one to uh, deck your opponent out of cards. And that is really, that third one is the strategy that Soma will be looking for here. Now, we talked a little bit about that spice that he's, he's thrown into his deck. You know, the Makago GX, uh, that Mewtwo GX there to copy GX moves. Uh, Zashian V. Oh, that's not all that he has. There are a few other cards that he is opting to put into his deck to disrupt his opponent. And hopefully we'll see uh, those cards come out soon. Not surprising to see the Great Ball be played right there by Soma. Just kind of wants to see what, uh, what tools he has available to him. And uh, the Great Ball found a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX, which is not something you normally see in these controller decks, control decks. And now we see the Oranguru come down in order to start bringing its wisdom onto the game. And now a second Great Ball finds a Mew, so now it's going to prevent bench damage. Not quite relevant in this matchup, but still, it's Great Ball kind of just finds you what it finds you. We want to see some setting up here from Soma as well. He's just going to get down as many Pokemon as he can to set himself up and then end the turn with an Intrepid Sword just to get some cards in his hand, get all those pieces to that. We like to talk about a puzzle. It certainly is a puzzle, this deck. He needs to get all those pieces together to be able to uh, execute his strategy. Now, Zacian does use Intrepid Sword before Soma passes the turn over to Clifton. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that the reason there is a two-prize penalty is because Clifton accidentally drew eight cards to start the game. Mm -hmm. So because of that, of course, there has to be an... Uh, a penalty issued, and in this particular case, the penalty won't prove to be very um, relevant. At least we don't believe it will. But uh, at the same time, you know, you got to keep players honest. So, of course, Clifton Go now starts his first turn of the game. A Mew start for Clifton with a Fione already on the bench. So that Fione is going to be very important for Clifton, as every time Lily's Pokedol is the active Pokemon, he can always just get sent right back to that bench. So someone's going to have to play around Fione as much as possible there. We've talked a little bit about the item cards and trainer cards that have really impacted this uh, tournament. And I think Lily's Pokedoll was one that we should have probably spoken about in those top three alongside Quick Ball and Professor's Research. It's put in a lot of work in a lot of different decks so far uh, that we've seen on stream as well. Really, really disruptive card. If you have two Lily's Pokedolls in play, you're really preventing your opponent from taking prizes, which is one of the core strategies for most of the decks here. It looks like an Absol gets found. For Clifton, we see Zashian, we see the Arceus Algapalkia, we just don't see any energies on the field quite yet for Clifton. Yeah, certainly looking to play an energy card on this turn. Wants to get that Altered Creation GX attack off as soon as possible. It's one of the ways that he can definitely win this match is just by taking as many prizes as he can, uh, extra prizes through that Altered Creation GX. Forces him to have to complete fewer attacks Looks like, Clifton unfortunately, still. as the Intrepid Sword, an extra card was revealed. They're just going to have a little discussion about how to, uh, you know, solve this, this situation. So, again, you just have to keep pe uh, people honest and, and forget about honesty. Like, sometimes the mistakes happen <laughs> and uh, you need to make sure that uh, these mistakes don't go unnoticed more than anything. So, oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, you it's, know, we're it's, playing for some high stakes right now. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, two long days of Pokemon as well, so, you know, slip of a hand, that kind of thing. Just happens sometimes. It looks like we're going to continue the turn with the Intrepid Sword, found an energy that he can attach to the Zashian V. And that is the attachment onto Zashian V before Soma gets to take his, first, uh, his second turn. Right away, we see a Slugma come down onto the bench from, uh, from Soma. 
which means that we are going to start to see a little bit of a setup here at Asoma. This is going to be a long game. Like I said, if Soma's going to be winning this, he's not going to be winning this uh, quickly. He has to slow the pace of this game. He has to make sure that Clifton cannot get out of hand. At the same time, though, Arceus Dalgapalkia, once it actually starts getting its Altered Creation GX, at that point, every time it takes a prize, it's going to be actually taking at least two of them. So it, it brings... Uh, it brings an extremely fast clock to this match, and I truly believe that this is going to be a very uh, very relevant part of this matchup right now between Soma and Clifton. So you say it's going to be a quick game, but Soma on, on their side, pretty interested in making it a slow game. And you see that Mareep there with the fluffy pillow uh, ability, when it's in the active spot, it's able to put the opponent to sleep. And look, Soma's putting it straight into the active spot, puts that mute to sleep. Yeah, so that is, I mean, that's exactly what Mareep's there for. It, Mareep wants to make sure that uh, that if Clifton ever misses one of these die rolls, which he didn't in this particular case, then that's just going to give Soma one more turn to be able to slow the, the game down, continue to slow the game down, and continue to play these Bulba and Bryson men. Now, keep in mind, uh, Clifton does, uh, does still have six prizes remaining, which means we don't have the entire strategy uh, zoned out here for, for Soma. Soma wants to fall behind on prizes at first. That's weird as that sounds, because we want to be able to play something like Lieutenant Surge's strategy to get a couple of Bilal and Bryson Man and really speed the clock up against Clifton. So as weird as this sounds, Soma actually really wants to fall behind on prizes. Yeah, it's not the usual strategy that you would see from players. Uh, they, you know, you want to take the lead and you want to keep the lead in that prize race. But in this case, certainly wants to go behind to execute the strategy and put multiple Bell Elber and Bryson Man into play. All right, now that Guzma and Hala finding that Aurora energy and an escape board. I think that escape board is going to be quite relevant in this matchup just because if your opponent is, is, if your Pokemon is asleep, usually they can't retreat. You need to find some kind of switch card to retreat them. When you have an escape board, you can actually still retreat when you're asleep. Easy turn here for Clifton as he, as he retreats that Mew, promotes that Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia tag team with those two energy already attached. That means Altered Creation GX, the perfect turn to attack here at a Clifton. Now Soma right away puts uh, Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia to sleep with that Mary. How weird is that, by the way? Mary, a little tiny little, <laughs> tiny little uh, bugger right there, uh, putting... Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia all to sleep at the same time. Yeah, I, I think it's a really powerful ability. That, that kind is of one ability, fluffy pillow. You'd think it would have a drawback, like you might have to discard a card or, or end your turn, for example, if you're going to essentially uh, render your opponent ineffective, un potentially unable to attack. But no, you can just do it any time that Marip is in the active position. Cynthia and Caitlin discarding Zacian to bring back, was that Belba and Bryson Man? Uh, Lieutenant Surge. Lieutenant Surge. And then draws three cards, of course. Now Lily's Pokedoll, the active Pokemon. With one Lily's Pokedoll on the bench, you do minimize the effect of Fiona. It's a great setup here from Soma, finding most of the pieces they need to be able to progress in this game. Probably wants to find something like Makago with Smooth there it Over. Is. Goes straight down onto the bench. And this, is, this synergy is really what you're looking for. So Smooth Over with Makago, putting any card to the top of the deck. Then Oranguru allows you to just draw that card. That is, I mean, that may be the perfect setup here for Soma, and this is only the third turn of the game, and not having fallen behind on, on prizes yet, you have to believe that Soma is comfortable in this position. Ooh. A little less comfortable once Arceus Dalgapalki wakes up, but still, you have to believe that this is exactly where Soma wants to be at this point, against such a difficult matchup in Arceus Dalgapalkia. I'd say from the perspective of Clifton, uh, he's actually not in a terrible position, though. He's really achieved everything he's looking to do, which is to, you know, have that buffed Altered Creation GX attack uh, land, so he can take multiple prizes off Pokemon. You know, that Fion is not prized, so if you're ever in a position where Soma might have just one Lily's Pokedoll in play, you can Fion around that with Whirlpool Suction and knock out a bench Pokemon and take multiple prizes that way. Make no mistake about it. Despite Soma being happy with the board setup for, for himself, Clifton Go is in a great spot to start to take advantage of this game. Clifton Go has already set up the, uh, the Altered Creation GX. Every time there's a prize taken for Clifton, that's going to mean a huge clock on Soma. And we saw right away how Mew is going to be the attacker of choice with Psy Power, knocking out the benched Lily Spokadol, forcing this Lily Spokadol uh, to stay active and not let Mary really get out of hand. Some really crucial cards if Clifton's going to be able to execute that strategy and take those six prizes. Is that Fion with Whirlpool Suction? Are those cards like Custom Catcher? So he can get around those Lily's Pokedolls. 
But then we see a Farber come down from Soma. Just another one of those disruptive cards that you include in this kind of deck. Yeah, Farber removing that uh, Aurora energy and actually moving it straight to the Law Zone. Now Soma has this setup, already has the Makargo and the Oranguru in play. Zacian, Intrepid Sword means the end of the turn here for Soma. Remember, there's still no Bulba and Bryson Man uh, shenanigans yet, but Clifton is still trucking along here, still uh, able to keep pressuring these Lily's Polka Dolls with the with the Mew if he attaches another energy, and Soma just trying to keep the game slow, uh, the game pace slow as possible. And you can just see the power of that Intrepid Sword as well. Look at the hand size of Soma. Keep in mind that's that's a professor's research. That's seven more cards drawn here for Clifton which is normally a good thing, right? But in this case, that just lowers your clock. And that's another Lily's Polka Doll going down on the bench. So the strategy continues. Clifton just attacking the bench, leaving a Lily's Polka Doll active. Soma, on the other hand, still unable to keep the, uh, to start discarding cards from, uh, from Clifton here. And we can see that slumbering forest as well at the top of Soma's hand there. That in combination with Marik. Marik, very powerful, usually just flipping one card between turn, uh, one Sorry, one coin between turns to see if your Pokemon wakes up. Well, if they're slumbering forest, you have to flip two. And if either of them are tails, you stay asleep. Yeah, cool. slumbering forest has yet to make a, make a splash in this game yet. But there's plenty of time left. You have to believe that if Soma is going to win, there has to be plenty of time left. <laughs> this is not going to be a fast clock on Clifton, but Clifton, on the other hand, has a very fast clock on Soma. You can already see that Soma is the one on the back foot. And that's, that's exactly what Clifton wanted to get out of Soma. He not only has been knocking out a Lily's Polka Doll every turn, but at, one, at some point he knew he was going to force Soma to uh, basically you know, knock out the, his own Lily's Polka Doll. And that's exactly what kind of happened there. Now another Faba here for the turn removes that escape board. That's going to be kind of important here. Remember, we have the Slumbering forest Mary combination. So now there has to be two heads in a row in order for Clifton to wake up, uh, for Clifton's Mew to wake up. There's already been at least one Switch play played by Clifton, which means you only have a limited amount of these. If you don't have your Switch or your Escape Board, then that's going to mean one fresh turn for, uh, for Soma there. Yeah, that's a really important Faba uh, by Soma there. But the lack of Lily's Poke Dolls on Soma's side of the board means that if Clifton is able to get this Mew out of the active position, this could be a multiple prize card turn. This is such a, a rough matchup for, uh, for Soma because not only is there a fast clock because of Arceus Dalgapalkia. Double but heads! But there's also the possibility of double heads. There's the possibility of double heads and there's also the possibility of just drawing so many switches or uh, escape boards. There is a, combina a combination of six total switch effects between the escape board and the, and the switch in Clifton's deck. So if you don't get the double heads, you still have such good odds of being able to attack on that turn. So that's a lot of pressure on Soma here and now that Maryp is going to like surely go down after we see three energy on Clifton's Arceus Dalgapalki. That's a big knockout there as the first two prizes of the game go to Clifton and that's going to be three energies now hitting the field at, or as, as up to three energies hitting the field for Clifton with only one coming down from the deck onto that Zacian with, uh, with a full attack power. And so ready. it's definitely in a challenging spot here. That Fionn, it doesn't look like much on the bench there, but that Whirlpool suction ability really means that even if Soma just finds one Lily's Poke Doll, Clifton can continue to take prizes by just switching around it, just gusting around it and bringing something else up into the active position. Yeah, this has been a very great game played by Clifton. You can tell that Clifton's probably played against this matchup before, and uh, he's just not really o leaving too many openings for Soma. Soma has was forced to lose the, these Lily Poke Dolls turn after turn, where other players might have just been starting to panic. Instead, Clifton calmly attacked with uh, with Mew tur every turn, forcing Soma to eventually get rid of his own Lily Poke Doll. And now, look at the situation we're in, with Clifton only needing two more knockouts to win this game, and Soma still unable to play a single Bulba and Bryson Man. Tag call though finds. The two Bilba and Bryson Man and Lieutenant Surge's strategy has already been played, so now the clock is going to start to fasten for, for Soma here. How many did oh, Bryson. here we go. We're going to start counting the deck. Is it time to start counting the deck at this point? Look, there aren't that many cards in, the, in Clifton's deck. Yes, there's still, you know, maybe potentially like 18 or so in, in that ballpark. Yeah, yeah. But still, you know, when you're using Bilba and Bryson Man twice a turn, that's a fast clock. Maybe Clifton won't be able to... Uh, get the two uh, the two knockouts in time. 
You're going to need to see some Poké Dolls, though, if you're going to actually try to stop Clifton in this spot. I can see one in the deck there. I'm not so certain that there's a second one, and that Fion. Well, like remember, we there earlier. was one prize, and there's been two knocked out already. Oh, of course. Yeah. So there is only one in the deck. Yeah, there was one prize, and two have been knocked out. So there is only going to be one Lily's Poké Doll in the deck, and with Fion in play, it's we may have to see a resource management before we can see a Lily's Poké Doll. Oh, absolutely. There's Belalda and Bryson, man. That's three cards discarded for both of these players. A couple of air balloons on the side of Soma. It would be really rough to see the Lily's Poké Doll also get discarded there. There's another Belalda and Bryson, man. That's six cards discarded for both players. Gonna see the next three come down. Oh, well, seems to be some kind of discussion about. Yeah, I think they're. What's happening in the discard pile there? They're checking. They're they're counting. I I believe. I do believe there was a lieutenant surge played. I think that was the the conversation is just around. Oh, I mean, there was absolutely a lieutenant surge strategy yeah. played. One hundred percent. Yeah. So that Bellelba Bryson man can be played. Yeah, there's uh, absolutely. We we saw that. Uh, right before the tag call, and then tag call found the two Bilalba and Bryson Man. The Lieutenant Surge strategy was just moved to the Discord. Oh, that's right the Lily's Poké Doll. The Lily's Poké Doll does go down, which is always unfortunate. But remember, there was there was going to be no point in the Lily's Poké. There's a reset stamp, which is very nice. Uh, there was going to be no point in playing the Lily's Poké Doll with the Fiona in play. What you needed to see first was a uh, uh, on a guru to resource ma resource management at least one other Lily's Poké Doll back into the deck. Now at this point, you're going to need to resource management two Lily's Poké Dolls at the very least, but you need to have that kind of a lock at least for one turn in order to uh, continue to keep in mind. How, look at how difficult this is going to be for Soma, <laughs> by the way. Not only does do we have to keep seeing Belalba and Bryson man uh, twice a turn, basically. We also have to have a turn where he continues to Belalba and Bryson man twice a turn, but still also gets two Lily's Poké Doll in play and ends the turn with one of them in, uh, in the active spot. It's going to be hard. I've seen wilder things happen at this oh, tournament so, so far, though. <laughs> so never say never. There's those Bellelba Bryson mans going back into the deck with that Palpad card. Such and a great combination of cards that when you get it, when you get this engine working, it looks beautiful, but it is hard to get this engine working the way you want it to if you're Soma. And Arceus Dalgapalkia now has to start dealing with this Large Zashian V. We may have to see Arceus Dalgapalki retreat to the bench to promote the new Zashian V to get, continue getting knockouts. This is going to be a three prize knockout if we do retreat, which is exactly what Clifton's about to do. Retreats Arceus Dalgapalkia, promotes Zashian V, is going to knock out the Zashian V to take three prizes and bring himself down to only one. Clifton does not want to play too many cards. Clifton does not want to uh, speed up his own clock. So Clifton may just be happy with this with this kind of a setup. At the same time, now you have an Arceus Dalgapalkia with basically, you know, nothing there. Like, it, it's it's going to be impossible to retreat, so Clifton's going to need to avoid something like a reset stamp to one plus like a, uh, like a great catcher or something along those lines. So we talked about earlier how many switch effects Clifton might have because it's you know, quite relevant now because Soma's strategy might just be to go into that fluffy pillow with that slumbering forest in play and hope that he can keep... Clifton's Pokemon asleep while he changed the chains those Bell Elba Bryson Man supporter cards. Clifton really hoping to avoid something along the lines of reset stamp with Great Catcher. Um, that's going to be one way that Soma can really give himself multiple turns here potentially. Another Zashi and V comes down. Mewtwo and Mew tag team comes down. Always have to be aware of that Mewtwo and Mew GX there, able to copy the. Attacks of GX Pokemon that are in the discard pile, and we saw a couple Macargo hit there. DX. Things like Macago, but also something like Aerodactyl. I don't know if I'd be interested to see if Soma's ever used that during the uh, tournament so far. There is 15 cards left in Clifton's deck. Tell you what, there's only three in Soma's. <laughs> but this is exactly how this mill deck often works. You really put yourself down to very few cards left in deck, so you can find the exact pieces you need each turn. And you really have to, you, as the, the attack is called, manage your resources around how many you're putting back into your deck and which cards you can use to do that. I think one of those cards that helps you do that is Ordinary Rod. Putting a couple of different cards back in, ensuring that once you play Bill Elba Bryson Man, you're not decking yourself out. 
It's such a it's such a strange deck to see in action, but it obviously works if you're at eight two and two at the Oceania International Championships. Maryp, the active Pokemon. Remember, if this is a knockout against Maryp, it's the game is going to be over. And that's one thing that Soma needs. He needs to see Clifton just getting a tails on there that. There was no reset stamp, but loop. here is oh, a switch. Oh, there we see the switch. Now, do we have an energy to retreat? We do have the energy to retreat. So now Zashian gets promoted right back, and that's going to be a knockout. That's going to mean Soma goes down one game to nothing against Clifton Go. That, that's exactly what we're talking about. There's so many switch effects. There's so many ways to avoid getting uh, sleep locked here by that slumbering forest Mary combination that all Clifton has to really do is not overextend his resources and cross his fingers that, that these cards don't get uh, discarded by Bilalba and Bryson Man. We saw a great setup out of Soma. We saw how Soma was basically as comfortable as he can get in this matchup. But <laughs> this is just a tough matchup. The clock is fast. Soma's clock does not come online fast enough. It takes a little while to set up. And even when you do set up, you have to deal with cards like Bione. We talked about it, right? Arceus, Dialga, Palkia. It really just has answers to everything. It, you know, cards like that Fion, Custom Catcher. I mean, the power of Altered Creation GX and being able to take multiple prizes on single prize Pokemon. That's what Soma's really playing into. Soma's saying, okay, I have all these one prize Pokemon. I'm going to disrupt you. Arceus, Dialga, Palkia is saying... Yeah, but I have all these switching effects to get out of sleep, and I can take multiple prizes off the Pokemon that you think I'm only going to take one prize off. One thing that I really like about this uh, uh, this deck from Soma, despite losing this first game, is we're used to seeing the mill strategy be paired with cards like Chinchino. I think that that's oh, yeah. the real hype behind that. We're actually seeing one more time how Zashi and V can be combined with other cards to actually just shine in another archetype like yeah we've seen this before zashi v is so powerful that you can actually make an entire control archetype around its ability instead of ever attacking you're just all right i'll draw three cards to end my turn i don't need to play supporters that draw cards i can just play a pokemon that draws cards and i'll use my supporters to disrupt you instead and we definitely saw that in the last game with you know soma's hand size so many cards in hand fione's prize Ooh, by the way fione. look at that fione being prized on the top right corner a Switch prize as well. That's pretty big. And a Ranguru with a Bilalba prize for Soma. That's that's some rough prizes, but for Clifton especially, you're looking at definitely going to be uh, at someone who's definitely going to be missing that Fione this game. Yeah, certainly much more difficult now to get around those Lily Pokey dolls. And for Soma, none in the prizes, which is a much better thing to see than last game. Dashi and V right away potentially going to Intrepid Sword to end Soma's turn. He is, there it is able to get down a Slugma, though, which is really the only sort of evolution Pokemon in this deck that you really worry about making sure you get the basic down on that first turn. So able to do that, really, it doesn't look like much, but that's a fine first turn for Soma. Oh, it's fine. It's more than fine. It's perfect. <laughs> that's, uh, Soma does not care about, you know, having these explosive turn ones. Soma just wants to start drawing cards and start to set up. Once you have your Macargo with your uh, Ranguru and Lily's Pokedolls, you're happy. Yeah, what more could you need in a game of Pokemon? Easy to please. <laughs> Clifton Go now, finding that Arceus Dalgapalki with that tag call. And no doubt wants to get that re, um, that GX attack as fast as possible. That's that's how you that's how you play this matchup. This uh, You do not want to have to take six natural prizes against Soma. If you can only take three knockouts to win the game, you're, you're a happy man. It's a pretty crucial card off that Stellar Wish. It's that escape board, the ability to retreat when you're asleep. Something Clifton's probably going to try to hold on to this game. He saw how powerful Mareep could have been. Yeah, Mareep is a very, very uh, strong card, despite not looking that way. I, I mean, <laughs> yes, sleep is annoying, but most of the time you're like, well, 50% of the time I'll wake up, yeah. otherwise I'll have switches. In this particular case, when you combine it with Slumbering Forest, you really can't bank on getting those double heads like Clifton got. Unfortunate that Clifton wasn't able to find a Zashian V on that turn and maybe use Intrepid Sword of his own to start powering that Pokemon off or at least get cards into hand. And no supporters either for Clifton, at least not that turn. I believe he found one with a uh, tag call but didn't play it. Looks like he might have a professor's research as well. So interesting, he didn't want to discard all the cards that he had in his hand. Now, Baba hits the discard pile. And now we're getting it right back with... Uh, Cynthia and Caitlin tag team. The power of getting rid of that escape board last game was something that Soma Gosh, also recognized. There it is, Intrepid Sword. Look at that fast turn by Soma. Soma is not trying to get fancy. Soma is not trying to get too far, uh, uh, not trying to extend the resources, just trying to draw as many cards as possible and pass the turn over to Clifton. He knows that he can probably expect 
a altered creation to the X out of Clifton this turn. Not too much he can do about it. The game is really about to begin uh, once Soma gets to draw a card from here on out because now Clifton's going to have the uh, the altered creation GX on turn two. From this point on, we're going to see Soma try to get, avoid ta uh, getting any prizes taken from him unnecessarily. Chooses to take Guzmar and Hala from that Stella Wish. Interesting. Thought about taking a quick ball for a moment, perhaps to get Zashi and V into play as well. Uh, but selected Guzma Haller is a better target for that one. Now Clifton still hasn't retreated, still hasn't promoted the Archistaga Palkia. So it looks like he's playing Guzma and Haller first. Only a couple of targets available in this deck for things like special energy and stadiums and already has that escape board in play. Doesn't want to leave that Shrine of Punishment in the deck to potentially get milled later on to slow the clock down, just deciding to thin the deck it a little bit right I now. I would have liked to have seen something like a reset stamp out of Clifton on this turn, perhaps. You look at the hand size of Soma, so many cards in there. You've got to wonder if maybe that Stella Wish was hoping to find that reset stamp. Yeah, reset stamp is uh, never actually going to get better for Clifton, so <laughs> might as well get it, get it out of, uh, get all those cards out of... Uh, Soma's hand after a couple of Intrepid Swords. There's the first Lily's Polka Doll that we've seen. Like I said, we've already seen how Altered Creation GX is, uh, is online. So from here on out, it's Soma's turn to try to avoid getting knocked out. He's doing so by playing Mary and then a Fabuk to get rid of the Aurora energy. So that's going to slow Clifton down. Absolutely. It's interesting, the old, older sort of styles of this archetype used to run so many things like Crushing Hammer and Enhanced Hammer. It's really interesting that these decks have sort of moved away from that. Tag but called finding yeah, double Bilalba. And now Intrepid Sword to end the turn. You're not wrong. <laughs> Clifton really wants to find a reset <laughs> stamp right now. Wakes up. Don't think Clifton's Pokemon can stay asleep in this match. Of course, we already know that Clifton has the counter stadium to, uh, to that slumbering forest. So Soma has to keep that in mind while playing this game doesn't just want to lose these slumbering forests without them being critical. Clifton Rainbow does have energy. Which now, so we'll be able to go into that Jirachi, perform Stellar Wish. And if he chooses to do so, like he might not actually want to do so, right? Oh, but it's just going to be a pass. Yeah. Uh, at this point, you're, you're just trying to save your switches. You don't want to run into a situation where you can't take a prize. Right now, you obviously couldn't no matter what, so why not just play it slow and steady? At this point, Clifton has the strategy just wants to avoid running into uh, into a absolute lock from Soma. And at the same time, Soma still doesn't have the Lieutenant Surge's strategy game plan online because Clifton has yet to attack. This game, it, it has a slow buildup, but the moment that you get to that um, to that fast-paced action between Clifton taking prizes every turn and Soma starting to deck his, his opponent out every turn, that's when the fireworks really begin. But for now, we still continue to slowly build up this, uh, this tension. We still slowly, we're, we're creeping up on that roller coaster. <laughs> that roller coaster is going tick by tick. But at the moment that you get to the top, you're going to start seeing everybody go down, everybody go down swinging. So a reset stamp hit the discard pile for Clifton there. He's going to flip to see if he wakes up. He's got to flip again. That Slumbering Forest is in play, and he gets wow. double the heads. double heads again. Well, I guess that's what it's there for. <laughs> that's, what that's what could happen. It doesn't guarantee sleep. Yes. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Clifton, you did get. <laughs> and you know what? There's the switch anyway, so why not? <laughs> Didn't need the double heads. He has been sitting on a supporter card for a little while now, which is Professor's Research, and has been opting not to play that. He doesn't want to give his opponent uh, any more discarded cards from his deck. Sure. Remember, still no Lieutenant Surge's strategy, so still no reason to... Um, well, Clifton is going to take... Pri the moment Clifton takes prizes, Soma's going to change his strategy up. But in the meantime, Soma's just perfectly happy trying to keep this game going. Every, tur every turn that goes by without any prizes taken, Soma's feeling a little bit more comfortable. Double Custom Catcher, though. That reduces the comfort level. Is it going to be Macargo or is it going to be Mary? It's pretty big. It's going to be Macargo. That's going to be no more smooth overs from, the, from here on out if we have an energy for Clifton. We still don't have the energy yet, though, which means we're going to see a professor's research, right? I believe that's what's going to happen. There's that trying to punishment to get rid of that slumbering forest, make it a little bit har harder for someone to establish any kind of lock. We're eyeing down that professor's research. There yeah. it is. That's all the cards discarded in order to draw seven new cards. So that's seven less cards in Clifton's deck. 
that really speeds up Soma's clock there. Clifton didn't want to do it unless he had to, and because he had no energy, he felt he was forced to, and I still don't think I see any energy in Clifton's hand. Yeah, that's really crucial, missing the energy there, not potentially not able to actually get a knockout on this turn. Metal not Saucer brings the metal energy from the discard pile back onto Zashi and V. I do not think I see any metal energies. I believe that's the end of the turn. I definitely don't see any medals. That is going to be the end of the turn. Yeah, or an Intrepid not. Sword. Uh, okay, yeah, it is the end of the turn after Intrepid Sword, which means now Soma did not, I do not believe that Soma believed that he was going to get away with not, uh, with not getting his uh, Macargo knocked out. Yes. Can he get his Macargo into the bench, though? That's going to be another point of contention there. Oranguru does hit the bench. Now we're going to see Smooth over. I mean, you can get anything between from smooth, your deck. Between Smooth over and Oranguru, you have to believe that the smooth that the Macargo is going to go right back to the bench. But if you look at his hand size, I think I actually saw he does have double switch there already. So he is well prepared for this turn, uh, mostly because he spent most of the time just drawing multiple cards from his deck with that Intrepid Sword ability. And now there's the switch. Macargo goes back to the bench. Deliberating whether to put out Mareep or a Lily's Poke Doll. Uh, it's probably going to be Mary. Or I'm sorry, Lily's Poke Doll because the the Jirachi's already asleep, and that's the end of the turn after an Intrepid Sword. Huge turn here for Soma, as he was not, as his uh, his board was not disrupted. If that Macargo would have gone down, that would have been very difficult. It would have been very difficult for Soma to reestablish a lock. But now Soma's going to continue to draw whatever he'd like from here on out every turn. Pretty tricky spot here for Clifton. Look at all well. those energies in that Stellar Wish. Almost taunting Clifton. <laughs> He'd love to have them in play. This is so unfortunate for Clifton after that Faba. Clifton is much less likely to get any type of aggression going right now, despite having an a skateboard on his Jirachi. Yeah, this is the kind of uh, Arceus Dialga Palkia deck that doesn't run energy switch. That's a pass from Clifton. Look at all these turns that are going for Soma. With 18 minutes still on the clock, I have to believe that Soma's going to be able to tie this up. I wonder if we'll last enough turns for that Shrine of Punishment to actually knock out the Arceus <laughs> Dialga Palkia. What a turn of events that would be. I would love to see Soma eye his uh, slumbering forest down and then just keep it in his hand. <laughs> All right. Smooth over, brings a card to the top of Soma's deck, and then Oranguru brings it right to the hand. Belelba and Bryson Man, the first one of the game. That's going to be three cards discarded for both players from the top of the deck, and that means that Soma, despite not falling behind on prizes, is already feeling comfortable enough to start this, uh, I guess you can call it aggression, <laughs> yeah. uh, from his side of the field. Yeah, it certainly is a very aggressive build of a mill deck in that it doesn't mind if it discards its own cards as well, as long as it's discarding yours. I'm always checking to see if the Jirachi stays asleep. One heads two heads. Why not, oh, you know? What, what is this? <laughs> Slumbering Forest does not exist. And that did mean that Shrine of Punishment was discarded, which means no more extra damage going on to Arceus Dalgapalkia. I'm not sure they actually needed to flip twice. I think the Slumbering Forest came down that turn, but anyway, Jirachi woke up. Gone straight back to sleep with that Stellar Wish. And uh, I didn't get a chance to see what Jirachi actually Stellar Wished for there, but I can only assume if it was, was going to be a Metal Saucer, it was going to go right to the top of the, the hand here for Clifton. Clifton, if Clifton's in a weird, uncomfortable spot of like, do I play draw supporters if I have access to them in order to uh, in order to attack? Like, it, oh man, here's the here's the deck count. We're looking at like 25-ish cards still for Clifton, but I mean, still, when you're not getting any attacks going, that's that's not where you want to be. And you have to think whether he's going to be trying to attack with something like maybe that Zashian, as a lot of his. Uh Effective water energy are just being discarded by that Faba on the side of S Soma. Pal Pad bringing back to Belelba and Bryson Man. Tag call putting them in the hand. Nice little combination there. And now you have to shuffle the deck anyway, maybe? Or I guess you get to take a look. Oh, of course, smooth over. Smooth over. It's just rinse and repeat for Soma, really, with that smooth over ability, primate wisdom ability. Putting cards back into your deck, taking cards out. Yeah, just. It's a beautiful deck once it gets set up, but getting to that setup point is just, that's the hard part. And there's Belobin and Bryson, man. Three more cards discarded. And Who critically, needs Lieutenant Surge's like strategy that. when your opponent isn't attacking? I'd say critically that Custom Catcher has just been discarded. Yeah, Custom Catcher. We already know the two are gone, so that's the third one. There's going to be no more Double Catcher. And the Fiona's prized. Sword. 
There's not really an effective way to gust around these Lily's Poke Dolls, other than knocking them out if you can on the side of Clifton, but he's not finding any energy to attach to his Pokemon. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this turn doesn't go Clifton's way if he just scoops up his cards. He has to have a pretty good idea of how much time's left on the clock. He has to know that his opponent's unlikely to win game three. But, I mean, if anybody's got a chance of winning it, it's going to be him, the person who can actually take prizes yeah, you and think who has so. a much faster clock. Oh, this absolutely. game is just not going your way if you're Clifton. Maybe at, the, at some point you just recognize that and say, you know what, it may be a good matchup, but it's not 100-0. This is your win. Let's go to game three. Yeah, that's something that the, the sort of pro players have in the back of their mind is always that time of how, how much time is left. How much time do I need to win a game? And Jirachi wakes up to pass the turn. These dice are, <laughs> these dice are looking pretty nice for Clifton, but at the same time, you know, it's not, not as relevant when you can't attack anyway. Belalba and Bryson, man, three cards discarded. At this point, we might start seeing a Ranguru. Yeah, there it is, a Ranguru uh, coming down onto the bench. He had to lose his Lily's Poke Doll in order to do it, but it's not, it's not important. Right now, your opponent's not attacking. You want to take advantage of this. You want to uh, start to resource management and protect yourself from not only decking, of course, but more importantly, protect yourself from losing your lock. You have to be really impressed by the way Soma's playing this game. Uh, really managing those resources perfectly, putting the right, just the right cards back in to continue using that Bell Elber and Bryson Man and reduce the number of cards in Clifton's deck. Never decking himself out, which you know some players might be prone to doing just by accident, but he's sure. always putting in the right cards just to get it back exactly what he needs. The deck has got to get, be getting thin for Clifton. We saw that he had approximately 20-something a, a couple of turns ago, but every time your opponent... Uh, well, Ooh, it's gonna be oh about yeah, 10? it's low. 10 it's, or 11? it's low now. It's very low. So I mean, you definitely start considering scooping up your cards if you're Clifton here. I know that it, you don't want to scoop too early. You don't want to leave your opponent with enough time on the round to be able to potentially deck you game three. But at the same time, you want to give yourself with enough time to potentially to win, win game three. Yeah, to win the third game. With seven wins. He would still love to get an eighth win here. He would love to put himself in great position to get that top eight. And, of course, Soma with eight wins would love to get that ninth win and lock up that top eight, basically, or just about, anyway. This might be the first time we've seen an Arceus Dialga Palkia deck that isn't flooded the board with energy. You know, Soma's done a really good job of leaving uh, Clifton just with a couple of energy on board the, this entire game, so he's never actually able to take knockouts. Well, Alba and Bryson, man, you see Soma already knows that... As long as Clifton continues to miss attacks, all he has to do is play extremely fast turns. Belalba and Bryson, man, make your opponent discard more cards and then just resource management your cards back into your deck to continue this basically lock. And here it is, Clifton now staying asleep, this, but still has the escape board, so not a big deal. All he needs is <laughs> to actually attack. He has been unable to deal a single point of damage to Soma this entire game. In fact, funnily enough, he's taken damage. <laughs> yeah, no it's kidding. Not you More you'd damage say. taken on Clifton's side of the field than Soma's. Like and that's Palpad bringing back Belalba and Bryson, man. That's the last card in Soma's deck going to the discard pile. Three cards from Clifton's deck going to the discard pile. And now resource management bringing three cards, any three cards back into Soma's deck. And that's basically the only three card deck that Soma has. So um, now Clifton starts his turn off, still asleep has maybe one turn left. You have to believe that this is going to be it. Soma's going to win this game. Deck his opponent out. Excellent. And that is going to be a game going to Soma. So now Clifton and Soma tied at one game apiece with 12 minutes left on the clock. This favors Clifton heavily. Despite Soma winning this game and winning it in pretty fast fashion because I believe we had like, what, like 24 minutes remaining on the clock when we, won, uh, when we went to game two? That was a 12-minute uh, win from Soma there, give or take. But... That was because Clifton didn't do anything. <laughs> Clifton just sat there and played, and uh, Clifton's turns were so fast because he had no real options. So he's okay. It, like we said, this matchup already favors Clifton in an untimed match. It's, our, it's debatable, but it seems that way because of the fact that you have Altered Creation GX just to speed up your clock against Soma. This was an anomaly. You do not normally <laughs> struggle to attack as bad as Clifton did, despite Soma actually having multiple Fabas in the deck. It does... It does sometimes disrupt your opponent to the point where you can steal wins like this, but sometimes your opponent just gets that double metal saucer and just really runs away with the game. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if game three goes Clifton's way or it goes Soma's way, but remember, Clifton gets to go first. Clifton is going to likely get a turn to Altered Creation GX and just have a very fast clock against Soma. Will Soma be able to hold on with about 11 minutes left on the clock?
I think that the, the early turn Farbers were really critical for Soma in that matchup. If he's able to do that again, he could be favoured, potentially take this game or at least put it into a tie uh, for this series. But Lieutenant having a look at the prize cards strategy. now. Lieutenant Surge's strategy on the, uh, in the prizes for Soma. Honestly, both prizes were, seemed fine to me. As we now I'd, begin be a the game. Bit, I'd be a little bit concerned about the custom catcher just because I know how powerful Fionn and those four custom catchers can be to get around those Lily's Poker Dolls. Uh, but it isn't, it's in a position where it might be one of the first couple of prizes that he takes, so that's quite nice. And now Clifton looking through his deck with that tag call, trying to make sure that nothing too crazy is prized. Oh, it's always the first thing you do when you look through your deck. Figure out what don't I, I have access to straight away. Yeah, I mean, the first thing you do is you try to avoid the, the crazy things, right? Like, you, you're like, okay, there's at least one Arceus here in my deck, <laughs> yeah, and there's yeah. at least one Zacian. Okay, let's play the game. <laughs> yeah, I can do things with that. I can work with that kind of deck. And now Arceus style Gapalkia hits, the, di hits the, the bench, not the discard pile, and that metal energy hits that Arceus style Gapalkia. Jirachi Stellar Wishing. If we can find a, uh, a Zacian before the end of this turn, Clifton's going to feel great. And that's something he actually missed in the last game. It might have been something that was a little bit detrimental for him. He wasn't able to in Intrepid Sword and draw three cards in the first turn of the game and potentially find more pieces to be able to get more energy into play. Yeah, no kidding. All, all he was missing was one energy on that one turn. That definitely could have been found with that Intrepid Sword. And uh, it looks like that is an Intrepid Sword after Sashian does hit the bench. And that's going to mean the end of Clifton's turn. But wow, we already have an energy accelerated on Zashian. We have a medal on uh, Arceus style Gapalkia. And that's before Soma can even draw a card. Funnily enough, it doesn't look like much, but that's a much stronger start than Clifton had last game. Oh, it's an uh, game. amazing start. Yes, absolutely. A <laughs> couple of energy on the board of Zashian V, drawing some cards. That's what he wants. Tag call, finding two Cynthia and Caitlyn's. And now Oranguru. Well, one Oranguru getting discarded with the first Cynthia and Caitlyn. One Oranguru already in play. And that's the end of Soma's turn. That's all Soma can muster up. No Zashi into the Intrepid Sword. There's not an effective hand here by Soma. Clifton, though, does Clifton have the Aurora or Rainbow Energy? Looks like Guzma and Hala means yes. Yeah, it has a As way Guzma to find it. Guzma and Hala does bring down a, or does bring up a special energy onto the hand, and of course a uh, an escape board as well, which is going to be huge. And why not get a shrine of punishment while you're at it? This is a great start by Clifton. When you only have eight minutes left on the clock, you want to have a start like this one. Soma is not feeling great about how things are going right now. As that was just an uneventful start for Soma. Soma's going to have to rely heavily on his next supporter of choice. It looks like it's going to be a professor's research. I don't think his start was terrible. I just think that Clifton's start is really good <laughs> by comparison. Yes, yes, that's which exactly is, which right. Which is the, uh, the, the sort of problematic thing for Soma. You know, he can still go into, oh, Mareeps, Lily's Poke Dolls later on to disrupt. But when Clifton's going uh, so streamlined here and getting all these energies into play, able to get that altered creation GX attack off, it's you really down to Soma to respond this turn. And I, I want to see a Faba, but I don't think we're going to. Arceus Dialga Palkia alters your creation, and that means Soma's clock is fast. At this point, Soma is going to be feeling a ton of pressure as every time Clifton takes at least one prize, he's going to be taking another one. Now, Soma has a Lily's Pokedoll on the bench, has that Oranguru with the air balloon. Soma wants to start slowing down the game. Remember, he does not want to uh, give up easy prizes if he can avoid it. But at the same time, Soma did not have an explosive turn one, and Clifton has had very explosive first couple of turns. So it's going to be hard for Soma, uh, Soma to hold on. Yeah, crucially, only now finding that Zashian V. It's the kind of card you really wanted to see on the first turn of the game. And he does actually play multiple copies of it, so that was a big miss on the first turn. Oh yeah, this deck list loves to have multiple Zashi and Vs because it needs it needs at least one right away, and it it is not unhappy to see two Zashi and Vs throughout the match. Is that There's a Mary, wisdom? and Lily's Pokedoll becomes the active Pokemon before the end of Soma's turn. Remember, Clifton does not have a Fiona in play yet. So critically here, we're going to actually see some attacks from the There's Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. With three energy, it can actually start attacking, unlike last game, where Soma was effectively able to you know, 
reduce the amount of energy on the side of Clifton. Clifton playing so many switch allows him to play switches like this aggressively. He doesn't need to uh, hold on to it if he, ha if he knows he can establish dominance on the board by uh, finding the right sequence of cards. Clifton now finds that Fione. A big find here by Clifton. Who needs custom catches when you have Fione? Like, look at the Pokemon on, on Soma's bench. Every Pokemon is relevant. He's going to be forced to give up the Zacian because it's a much worse feeling when you give up either a Macargo and a Ranguru, which you've already lost one of, and a Mareep. This is going to be a three-prize turn for Clifton, and, and now Soma really wants to have a reset stamp here if he wants to slow the game down. Uh, fortunately, Zacian V can't quite be knocked out by Arceus Dialga Palkia, so there's a little bit of a reprieve from Soma there. One of the reasons he promoted it was just uh, it has so many hit points. It's the only Pokemon in his deck that actually can survive uh, an ultimate raid there from Arceus Dialga Palkia. But of course, I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> I, I forgot we haven't actually seen Ultimate Raid yet, so we don't have Zashi and V attacking quite yet. But still, it, it, it's still the same situation where you now have a Zashi and V with 180 damage. You are still about to lose three prizes. You need to do something if you're Soma. You need to uh, start slowing down this game. There's still five minutes remaining, and. While that doesn't feel like a lot, once Clifton does start taking multiple prizes every turn, trust me, you feel like it's an eternity of your Soma. So that's one piece there. We saw a father play. It gets rid of one of the very few special energy, uh, the, the energy that count as the water energy in Clifton's deck. Soma it feels like that father was one turn too late. Yeah, absolutely. That father would have been huge last turn in this particular turn, just not quite as effective. We're going to see an escape board come down. One of those tools again. Double there. custom catcher. Big time play here by, uh, by Clifton. As now he's going to be able to knock out that Macargo, specifically that Macargo, stop the smooth overs every turn, stop his opponent from drawing perfectly, basically. And with only four minutes left on the clock, he's got to start getting some knockouts fast. But this is a big time play by Clifton. Yeah, certainly the strategy he was looking to use last game, but couldn't find the energy to execute it. Okay, so now Arceus Dalgapalkia forced to retreat because he couldn't find another Aurora energy or Rainbow energy. So now Zostian V is going to be the attacker getting uh, a knockout onto Macargo. He would have preferred to find that, uh, that Aurora energy, but when you can't, you still, you still feel perfectly happy having a Zostian V as your attacker. That's going to mean two prizes taken onto, the, uh, onto that Macargo because of that uh, Altered Creation GX, and that means only two more knockouts remaining for Clifton, Soma with three minutes left on the clock, three and a half minutes left on the clock, just wants to slow this game down, but it's feeling harder and harder to do so. Mary doing its, doing its best to uh, put uh, Zashi into sleep. So crucially also finding that Fione to put on the bench there so that if Soma does try to kind of extend the game a little bit by putting a Lily po Lily's Poké Doll into the active position, that Fione can just get around it straight away. A really nice find there by that great ball to find that Slugma that... Slugman to slowly start to build up another Macargo. It seems like the window has completely closed on Soma to win the game, but as long as he can get a draw out of it, he'll feel fine going into the final round of Swiss. He does not want to get a loss, and Clifton, the exact opposite. He does not want to get a draw. He's so close to a victory, he can taste it. He just needs to take two more knockouts. Bob and Bryson, man, discarding three cards off the top of both players' decks. But if any deck can extend a game, it's one that plays Mareep with Fluffy Pillow. You just hope yeah. that your opponent stays asleep in between turns. There's That's one heads. There's the Slumbering Forest. Finally gets double, or finally misses the double heads as Zacian stays asleep. But Zacian wasn't going to be able to attack anyways. So it was gonna re we were going to require a, uh, an escape board or a switch from Clifton no matter what here. Clifton looking through Soma's discard pile. Two minutes left on the clock. Things are starting to get dicey for Clifton. He may not be able to take these final two knockouts. I think he's counting the decks. He does, he's not positive that he wants to uh, potentially extend. I believe he may have something like a professor's research in hand because it seems to be the reason why he's counting his deck. He doesn't want to accidentally give Soma a shot at winning the game. I think there are enough cards in deck to be able to play professor's research without the threat of potentially being decked out during the time that we have available. But of course, Clifton is unaware of the amount of time that we have available to him to continue playing this game. Three cards drawn by Intrepid Sword, which means the end of the turn. And now Zashian's awake. But turn it goes straight Soma. back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zashian woke up for about 1.2 <laughs> seconds. Just to survey the board, see what's going on. <laughs> Still too early. My alarm clock hasn't <laughs> rang. <laughs> Give me another pillow, please. 
And Soma, ordinary rod, bringing some cards back into his deck. A minute remaining on the clock. This is going to be really difficult for Clifton to pull off. Yeah, it really comes down to the it wire. It really, really comes down to whether Clifton's Pokemon are going to be staying asleep or waking up. We do not have an exact count on Clifton's deck size, but I believe just due to the nature of how many turns have been played that Clifton is not in any danger of losing this match. But Z Soma's still in danger. 35 seconds remaining on the up. clock as Zashian, Zashian wakes, wakes up. up double the heads. double heads on the Zashian to wake up. And now we may see a Brave Blade. It may just be a quick turn of just Brave Blade pass so that Clifton get another one. But no, instead plays the tag call. Remember, because of Lily's Polka Doll there, he wants to find a way to, to find a Fione or something along those lines. It's hidden there on his bench. Oh, the Fione is the Fione. on his bench. Gets down another energy onto a second Zashian V. It is looking zero seconds left on the clock. That might be actually time called with Clifton still on his turn. That might mean that we're going to have to see this happen one more time. So Clifton is going to get a knockout here. Time does seem to have been called. So Clifton is going to get a knockout here onto that Zashian V. That's going to mean three prizes taken by Clifton. Almost feel like you might have wanted to see something like a knockout onto like a, a Mary for a, uh, a Rangru so that your opponent could reset stamp you to, own, to, to a two card hand instead of one, something along those lines. But now Clifton was turn zero, which means Soma gets turn one and turn three. Clifton only gets turn two here. So here we go. We're going to see Mareep put into the active position. Are, are we going to have a reset stamp out of Soma? It's what you want to see, right? I mean, if you're Soma, of course. They're just deliberating, seeing who is turn zero, who is turn I one. I believe I see a reset stamp in hand here for Soma. That is the most important card right now for Soma. He wants to find a way to get the straw. There is a reset stamp in hand. <laughs> that is a crucial card in this matchup. It's going to mean Clifton's going to need a way to, one, find a Fione, and two, <laughs> switch out the Zashian, all with a one-card hand plus one draw. This is not going to be easy for Clifton to pull off. Soma may have just pulled off the draw. Super exciting. I'm really excited to see which one card he's going to draw. You've got to think that the only thing that really is an out for him here is something like maybe Professor's Research so he can draw more cards and potentially see more of his deck. One card drawn for Clifton. Oh, the suspense. Doesn't he's not going to show us it. what it is. And now look at how many cards are left in the deck. It just seems impossible for Soma to actually win. So we're seeing a Professor's Research from Soma. At this point, Soma can, wants to get a double Lily's Polka Doll. Lily's, the second Lily's oh, Polka Doll will be huge. There's Poke that Doll. second Lily's Polka Doll. Now even a Fiona is not going to get around yeah, that. Yeah, you're going to need double custom catcher. Good luck with doing that with a two-card hand. You're really going to need to see a professor's research if you're Clifton. Soma's played this expertly. This third game to prevent Clifton from being able to take all six prizes. Clifton down to one, so tantalizingly close. Mary retreats. The Polka Doll bravely stands tall as the active Pokemon. Below Ben Bryson, man. Soma just kind of doing what he can. Maybe wants to reduce some potential resources from Clifton's hand. Maybe if Ooh, we see something like. Fiona. Oh, that's Fiona going down. But remember, not as important when you have double Lily's Polka Doll. Really, Custom Catcher would have been a huge hit there for Belalba and Bryson, man. Two-card hand by Clifton. You need to see Stays a professor's asleep. research will be huge here for Clifton. Doesn't seem to oh. have it. Has only a Custom Catcher. A custom Catcher can draw cards, though. Now, Clifton has to gauge if, he is, if he's willing to take the risk. If he keeps drawing cards, then he does make it a tiny bit easier for someone to actually deck him. So maybe Clifton's okay with the draw. Clifton says, I'm okay with the draw here, Soma. And Soma says, okay, well, there's not much I can do about this, so handshake. Both players indeed extend the hand, which means there is going to be no clear winner for this third game. Soma found a way to keep this game going until time was called and then two turns later. Yeah, really impressively played that Makago Oranguru. What are we going to call it? Marie Zashi and V-Deck? I don't know how you put all those cards together. I guess I, it's just aggressive I, mill deck. I don't know what to call it. I, I call it 
I dropped my binder and somehow <laughs> I managed to deck my opponent with it. And apparently I, your binder has all these good cards in it. <laughs> <laughs> Great cards in it, honestly. Uh, especially that Zashi MV. Man, Zashi MV has just been such a player this uh, this tournament. I don't think I've ever been so excited to see a draw in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very exciting. Clifton must have been thinking, oh, I'm going down to one prize. I just need a couple of cards, a couple of combination of cards to pull this off. But Soma knew exactly what he needed to do. Get down those couple of Lily's Poke Dolls. Uh, disrupt Clifton as much as possible with that reset stamp. Put the Zashi and V to sleep. All of those pieces came together to pull out the draw. You know, sometimes these fast-paced Pokemon matches just... They're, they're exciting, right? You have Pokemon knocking each other out, uh, pe people knocking down, uh, you know, tag teams left and right, your opponent taking four prizes in a single turn when you, uh, when you have Altered Creation GX knocking yeah. out a tag team. You have these crazy attacks, right? And it's an exciting game. But then you have matches like this one where you throw all that out the window and you say, we're going to play a game that's about as difficult as chess and we're going to find a way to slowly but surely grind our opponent down and leave him with zero options re remaining. Literally no cards left in deck, no cards in hand, nothing. That's it. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened game two. Unable to pull it off game three, but still managed to find a way to not get that loss. That one match point is going to be crucial yeah. now that we're talking about only one round remaining before we cut to the top eight. Yeah, and really cool that Soma, the kind of deck he's playing as well is, yeah, deck out your opponent, but also try not to deck yourself out, which is another thing you have to manage along the way. I'd like to point out that Clifton still hasn't lost a match. So he's now 7-0, yeah. 7-0-6 <laughs> at this tournament. I think that makes him the only undefeated